What would happen if you did not have any dopamine? Our bodies function largely because of chemical reactions. Dopamine is one of the many reasons why we act the way we do. If you've ever been happy, expectant, joyful, or expressed any related emotion, then you have dopamine to be thankful for. What would happen to us if, for some reason, this very important chemical was tampered with in our body, probably reduced or even eliminated? Before we go into that, we would briefly explain what dopamine is. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter in the body. In simpler terms, it is manufactured by the body and goes on errands to the nerve cells of the body. A chemical this important plays several roles in the body. As with several other chemicals in the body, you may never know at what time it's being sent to transmit a message to the body, but functions like attention span, mood, sleep, the effective functioning of blood vessels, the control of vomiting and nausea, learning, as well as motivation, only happen because of this. So the question is, what would happen to anyone whose dopamine level is tampered with? In an attempt to answer this, a group of scientists carried out a series of experiments on some mice. It's worthy of note that dopamine also controls the part of our brains responsible for pleasure or rewards. With this knowledge, Dr. Paul Phillips once attached brain electrodes to the brains of rats to monitor how their dopamine levels were affected under specific conditions. The rats were further given shots of cocaine whenever a lever was pressed and some lights were flashed. After a while, they found out that the dopamine levels in these rats rapidly increased whenever they approached the lever. This meant that there was a heightened expectation of reward in the rats just by approaching the levers. To better understand the functioning of the dopamine levels in the rats, the scientists turned off the cocaine pumps, but noticed that the rats still had heightened levels of anticipation when they heard the sound of the lever or saw the flashing lights. With these experiments, it became clear that dopamine can also change just by the expectation of a reward or pleasure. This is really what happens to addicts. Their dopamine levels rise whenever they expect to indulge in whatever they're addicted to. For instance, cocaine addicts experience a prepared state within their bodies to receive the drug even before they snort it. This is why it's quite difficult for addicts to do away with their addictions. Well, not everyone is addicted to something, so what does the absence of dopamine do to the human body? Because of the important role of dopamine in the body to regulate focus, our ability to find things interesting or not, our drive and ability to focus, an excess or deficient amount of it will bring about some of the following challenges. One of the possible effects of too much or too little dopamine is schizophrenia. With an excessive amount of this chemical, a person may experience multiple hallucinations and delusions. Of course, this would make such a person appear to be mentally unstable and contradictory in his approach to a lot of things. Things. Because of the function of dopamine, an imbalance in the body has also been linked to being a factor responsible for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD. This is further validated when you take into consideration the fact that one of the treatments for it works by increasing the dopamine level in the body. Parkinson's disease can also be a result of dopamine deficiency. Parkinson's happens when a type of neuron degenerates and doesn't send or receive the signals it is supposed to send. This leads to a reduction in dopamine in the body. The resultant effect would be stiffness, tremors, slowness, poor balance, and coordination. Surprisingly, obesity has been linked to dopamine levels in the body. Generally, obesity occurs when people consume more calories than they can burn. To someone who is not obese, they might advise that the victim simply cuts down on the intake of these unnecessary calories, but it's not as simple as it looks. Remember, the reward system of the body has an anticipatory nature. This means that such people may continue to eat because they do not feel satisfied yet. This would invariably lead to increased eating until their internal alarm signals satisfaction. In cases of critical deficiencies of dopamine, some of the expected reactions would include unusual tiredness. This type of tiredness is not associated with hard work, mental or physical, but just the refusal of the body to cooperate with its owner. The tiredness could impact the brain as well as cause it to become foggy. With foggy brains, people find it difficult to think or come up with ideas or solutions that shouldn't be so difficult to come up with. Sadness and apathy are also some of the expected reactions when dopamine levels are low. Again, 
The sadness may not be related to any tragic incident. If you find someone crying because their kitten refused to finish their meal, it just might be that this is what to look out for. You might not end up with the slowness of a sloth, but slowness in speech or movement can be traced to a reduction in the presence of this important chemical. On the other hand, an unusual increase in dopamine would lead to an active, highly motivated disposition. Such people feel excited over just about everything. There's a tendency for them to exaggerate things. They usually have boundless energy and staying power. Of course, you might expect some irrationality and aggression, as well as poor control of their impulses. If for some reason the body is completely drained of dopamine, this would mean that the neurotransmitters are blocked. Some of the following are likely to occur. A complete collapse of all forms of coordination. The eyes might not even blink as there would be no transmission of the appropriate signals to the eyes to blink. Every organ that requires coordination would function at a suboptimal level. If for any reason such a person appears normal, because they really are not, the chances are that they would rarely feel pain, joy, excitement, sorrow or any form of emotions. If a company is unfortunate to have such a person as the CEO, the company would likely close down because there would be a poor interpersonal relationship between the leadership and employees or clients. We might not fully understand what to expect from persons who have no dopamine present in their bodies like rats. The reactions in humans might be significantly different. If you reacted in any way to the content in this video, then you have dopamine to thank for that. Our next video discusses something that might be the source of your fantasies and daydreams. If that is something that you want to know about, then be sure to stick around for that one. Thank you for watching.